all right so welcome back to heroic online academy this is uh, to introduce to you json full tutorial course so this is an important course for programmers it's a popular way to install to store and transmit data objects okay this is a step-by-step -step guide on how to store and transmit data objects so this course is extremely important like i said before for programmers if you're into it if you're into programming or you want to go into it you're into web development okay or you want to go into it so you need this course you need it badly all right because it will help you to learn how to transmit data okay from one platform to another platform okay from one programming language to another programming language how to transmit it in a light uh, weight form as in make it quite easy extremely easy to do so so you need this course for it to make it to make transfer of data but easy okay yeah, what you will learn, you learn how to store and transmit data objects using JavaScript object notation, JSON. All right. Okay. So, um, the requirement, you need basic knowledge of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Basic knowledge of PHP is an added advantage, but not a must. Okay. You also need a personal computer, laptop, or desktop. And knowledge of how to use computer keyboard or mouse okay now like i said before java uh, json is a javascript object notation it's an open standard file format for uh, okay sorry it's an open standard file formats and data interchange format that uses human human readable text to store data actually um am i not going to detailed here but just know that there's just a way you can transfer data okay easily okay when you're using uh, when you are coding okay uh, if if you've been into program you know that transfer of data from one uh, platform to another from one language to another okay from one place to another it's, it's extremely important and JSON will make it quite easier for you all right um for you to imagine a professional web developer the knowledge of JSON is absolutely indi indispensable you need json for you to imagine a professional web developer okay now our training is online our training is online okay okay maybe let me quickly show you uh maybe for you to have an idea of what json can do for you okay even though you're not going to see json file format as it is but let me quickly explain something in our online institute let, let's use our online institute for example all right all right, all right. okay i think let me go back uh, this is it now if if i if i go to this course now uh, this is our online is where you can come and order for a course like if i should order for this course right now you know what will happen all the details of the, the details of this course will be converted to json all these data objects will be that we, 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 I mean it will be converted to JSON and when I order for it when I proceed to order once I order for it it will be sent it will be stored as a JSON file in the database okay it will be stored as a JSON in the database and when I log into the my classroom I will now view it as a normal uh, course that we are going to take like if I should go ahead and log in okay i'm already logged in maybe i go to my learning you see all the courses now all these courses if you go to java to the database you are going to see them as a json course as a json file okay all this data that i fetched here all this data even the image name the name of the image the name of the course the name of the author of the course everything here they are all stored as json in the, in the database okay so so you see it's amazing and when i fetch that json i will convert it to array uh, okay array object and i will loop through it and they get them the way it is right here you see how beautiful it's, it's looking so once you learn how to uh, how to use json all this will be quite easy for you so that is why you should learn it okay so that's it like i said before our training is online um this is an online training but it is different from some other online training if you if you are used to online training you see that 
when you pay for online training you you learn online you you log in and learn online but this one is different you mustn't uh, you, uh the the tutorials are downloadable once you pay for the course you can log into our web platform and download tutorials okay so that you you don't have to struggle with data with uh, spending your data all the time anytime you want to learn okay you want you will not also struggle with network connection while learning because once you download it you learn offline and you own the tutorial all right so that's it now quickly maybe let me show you an idea of uh, how the look of a uh, classroom okay maybe let me click here okay this will not lead us straight to the classroom it will lead us here okay, let me log into the classroom now uh, th uh, this is our old classroom we have a new one but i'm still building a course for it by the time you're watching this the course would have been ready so that the new classroom will start working this is our old classroom the one we're using for now but the new one we are building it okay so you see you see that each of the courses we have uh, you see download button at the bottom here once you click on download video it will download this video for you you understand me so so you see it's quite easy and these are courses okay these are courses okay all right um maybe let me quickly show you what you are what you are going to learn and the list of courses you are going to learn in this json uh, tutorial uh, let me log out and log into JSON so that you see what you are going to learn, what you stand to learn in JSON. Um, quickly, let me log into my old academy and so I will show you the, the some of the, the course content that you see. So let's go to JSON. This is JSON. I log into JSON right now. Okay. Now you see the course content here. So you see you're going to learn data type, JSON dot pad, uh, stringify, JSON object literal. All these you have videos for them. You have this array array literal. Okay. JSON file transfer to uh, from the server. JSON string. Do you get so you see there are lots you're going to learn in this course. Alright. Uh, that's said. So that is all all you need to know about JSON okay like i told you our videos are downloadable courses are downloadable you can also reach me out once you pay and register for this course or for any other any of our, our of our courses you have access to my mentorship for life this is my number you can you can reach me anytime to solve your problem in case if you encounter any issue in the course of learning i'll be there to solve the problem for you okay you can chat me on whatsapp via this number okay then i will take it up from there I solve my student problem by either requesting for the screenshot of the problem they are going through. Then I will go to the screenshot and give them the uh, and point out where the problem is. I sometimes also uh, I tell them to send me the zip file, the zip the zip file of their of their uh, their uh, of the their code. So I will go through the code and make a tutorial video to solve the problem for them. And normally, uh, if you go to my YouTube channel, you are going to see that so you are going to see some of the videos I made to solve some of my students' issue. Maybe let me go to my YouTube channel quickly and show you what I mean. This is one of the tutorial I made. If you watch it, I'm um, kind of solving my student issue here. If I should go back, let's say, let me go back to to my maybe to videos here. You see that you're going to see many of the videos where I solve problems. Okay, so this one is a pro. It's where I'm solving from one problem. This one is also students JavaScript error. Where I solved it, how to skate. Okay, so you see student JavaScript error here solved. Student JavaScript problem solved. Students picture upload correction. Okay, Nzibe Ajax correction. Chinese Shrem slide error correction. Sahid second web okay correction you see there are lots of corrections i made for students and you are not going to be an exception okay so i take my time to correct errors for my students and uh, they are happy with it okay so so that is how we are we are moving and we are, go we are getting it right and one more thing i want to show you is that i also uh, we encourage our students to create projects okay to build projects as they are learning you know programming is a wonderful course Web development is an exceptional course that if you learn it, you can use it to build applications. It's once you have a creative mind, you can create stuff 
that is going to change a lot for you. You're going to create, you can create stuff for yourself and use it to make money. Okay, if you have a vision, you want to power your vision, you can create stuff that will help power your vision and use it to make money. So we encourage our students to, to do so. Okay, and we do that by organizing competition from time to time. We organize competition where our students participate. Okay, they participate by building projects and uploading to our talent development website. If you look at this now, this is our talent de development website where our students participate. Okay, Heroic Talent Harvest. Okay, so if you come down here, you see some of the uh, tutorials, some of the, tutor the tutorials they made. Okay, where they participate. If you click on any of the of the uh, tutorial they uploaded, you see. Uh, this is one of my students. He created a website and he wanted him, he he uploaded it to uh, a talent development website, where people come and vote for them. Okay, I normally donate money for them to participate, and at the end of the the competition, some of them will win some money. Okay, this is just my own way of of encouraging them to work hard and to create stuff for themselves, okay, for their future. Okay, if I should play this, you see that this is my student presentation. Oh, yeah. You see. And uh, that's Sahid from Kora State. Okay. So he's trying to make a presentation of the project he built, and people voted for him. You see that? Uploaded four months ago. All right, that, uh, that's an e-commerce e website he was building. You get that. So you see that we're doing a lot of things to actually truly, truly help our students. All right. So this is uh, this course is designed to be a one week course. It's a one week course, but um, you might not finish it in one week if you are busy with other things. But eventually you are going to finish it. It is designed to enable you to study at your own pace. So if you're a busy person, you can still participate. You can still enjoy the course. Okay you can combine it with the other things that you are doing all right so that's great so if you love web development this is a wonderful 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 opportunity for you to take up this course pay for it and commence training okay yeah um even if you know nothing about programming or web development you will surely find this tutorial very easy very very easy all right uh this course is for everybody is for everybody, especially it is highly recommended for people between the ages of 10 to 60 years. Okay, just know coding is for everybody. Okay, if you are below 10 years but you're a smart kid, you can still participate in it. If you're above 60 years but you're still strong, then you can still participate and learn. P coding is for all. All right, just know the ICT is becoming popular by the day and uh, you can't afford to miss out. Um, just all you need to do is just to order for this course, go to our online institute and order for the course. If you are watching this tutorial in our online institute, you can click on add to cart, add this course to cart. You can choose other courses that you need and they keep moving. But if you are not watching it in our online institute, if you are watching it maybe on YouTube or anywhere else, just see, uh, chat me on WhatsApp. This is my, this is my uh, phone number. Chat me on WhatsApp. Let's talk from there. One more thing, I, uh, we have a WhatsApp group for students. Once you register, you join our students on their WhatsApp group, okay, where we ex exchange ideas, all right? Now, this is how to order for the course, okay? Let's go to our online platform where we order for course. Okay, maybe let me log out from this one so that we'll go to our online platform. Now, this is our online platform. This is how you can order for the course. Just click on add to cart, add as many to cart, add as many courses as you want to cart. After adding, then to cart, then you click on proceed to buy. Okay, select the, the your payment me 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 uh, method that you need. If it's a bank transfer, the credit card, depends on the one you want, but let's go to with bank transfer here. You click make payment to this account details. After that, complete your payment. Do you see that? That's a simple way to order. It's quite straightforward and quite easy for, for everybody. Okay, so by the way, I'm Uche Joe. I'm the founder of Heroic Universal Concept International. I'll be glad to meet you as my student. Let's do great stuff together. Okay, thank you so much.